Rosaviatsia has granted approval to the aircraft manufacturing company Yakovlev for the serial production of the MC-21 aircraft. An on-site inspection was conducted by a commission from the Rosaviatsia agency to evaluate the company's quality assurance system and system for managing flight safety for conformance with federal aviation regulations. Yakovlev obtained an expanded certificate of approval for production organization number FAF-TI-11 subsequent to the inspection. The MC-21 aircraft is now included in the List of Authorized Works section in addition to the SSJ-100. The list also includes an integral firewall, an integrated computing system, and a multifunctional display. Under the Federal Aviation Administration FAA regulations, specifically FAR Part 21, the equivalent certification in the United States is the Production Organization Approval, POA. To manufacture aircraft and components that satisfy FAA airworthiness standards, manufacturers must obtain this authorization. The POA guarantees that a production organization has the necessary facilities, quality assurance systems, and capabilities to manufacture aircraft in a secure manner and in accordance with relevant regulations. The Production Organization Approval, POA, is the equivalent certification in Europe, and it is issued by the European Union Aviation Safety Agency and in accordance with EC Regulation 748, 2012. The FAA and ESA certifications are both required to obtain type certificates for aircraft, which are crucial for guaranteeing that each aircraft is safe for operation and adheres to approved designs. Thus, FI-11 denotes Yakovlev's adherence to stringent production standards that are comparable to those mandated by the FAA and ESA for aircraft manufacturing. Yakovlev has obtained a number of critical certifications and approvals, enabling the commencement of MC-21 production. Rosaviatsia issued the type certificate for the MC-21-300 on December 28, 2021, marking one of the most significant milestones. This certification verified that the aircraft met the civil aviation standards of Russia, thereby facilitating mass production and sales. It was an essential stage in the process of bringing the MC-21 closer to commercial operations. Yakovlev received a major change approval for the MC-21 in December 2023, which permitted an increase in passenger capacity from 175 to 211. This approval increases the aircraft's competitiveness in the market by allowing for various configurations, which in turn provides operational flexibility. These modifications are indicative of Yakovlev's dedication to accommodating a wide range of airline requirements and its adaptability in designing aircraft. The transition to Russian-made PD-14 engines is another critical component of the MC-21 development process. Certification flights for these engines are scheduled for 2025 as part of Russia's overarching initiative to localize production and mitigate its dependence on foreign technology as a result of international sanctions. It is anticipated that the PD-14 engines will be instrumental in guaranteeing the operational independence of the MC-21. In the meantime, the Russian government is optimistic that the domestic aircraft manufacturers who are developing the SJ-100 and MC-21 models will fulfill their obligations and expedite the production process while maintaining a high standard of product quality. During the presentation of the government's 2024 activity report to the State Duma, Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin said, in the field of aviation production, it is worth noting a significant milestone that took place just two weeks ago. The first flight of our Superjet, now equipped with Russian-made engines. The extensive and complex work to replace foreign components with domestically produced ones made this possible. Numerous specialists found technological solutions and developed their own materials, components, and systems to achieve this. He went on to say that similar efforts are presently underway in the development of the most recent MC-21 aircraft. We hope that aircraft manufacturers will meet all their commitments and accelerate work processes. But the most important thing is that this must not compromise safety. That is the primary challenge they must address, the Prime Minister emphasized. Mishustin observed that these objectives necessitate the integration of modern technologies into production and the attraction of new investments. He advocated for the active support of domestic aviation technology developments and collaboration with scientific and educational institutions.
He believes that the effective execution of these projects will not only bolster the nation's aviation independence, but also generate new employment opportunities and stimulate economic expansion. According to Anton Alikhanov, the Minister of Industry and Trade of Russia, the MC-21 aircraft with PD-14 engines and the SJ-100 with PD-8 engines will be operational within the first half of 2025. This announcement was made on March 3rd. Subsequently, he specified that certification flight tests would commence. Alikhanov stated on February 5th that Russia intends to establish an annual production of at least 36 domestic MC-21 aircraft. The objective is to eventually double this capacity to enter the export market. Sergei Chemizov, the CEO of the state corporation Rostec, announced on January 24 that serial production of the MC-21 will commence in 2026 as per the established plan. In December 2024, Ivan Badenov, the Director of Network and Revenue Management at Aeroflot Group, also anticipated that the first deliveries of MC-21 aircraft would start in 2026. Rossiya Airlines, owned by Aeroflot, is expected to receive the first aircraft. Now, do you think the MC-21 project will keep its schedules? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.